Yes, Brad, police are still working to track down the driver of that SUV. Witnesses told the family that SUV was going at least 100 miles per hour down the street before crashing into the family's home behind me. Pictures taken by a neighbor Sunday night show the aftermath of the crash on Sussex Avenue. The SUV stuck in the middle of the family's living room. Keith Bradley was home watching TV with his friend when they were hit. How can you just walk away from two people that you injured in the house? Like, that's crazy. It's not just one person that was injured. It was two people. Chastity Russell wants to know how could someone do this. She says her father was crushed by the SUV and left to die. Can you imagine being underneath an SUV along with the other rubble on top of you? They said the doctor said something about he was under there for 30 minutes. Paramedics had to clear the debris safely to get to him. Bradley is now in the intensive care unit at the hospital with injuries to his brain, neck, chest and ribs. He's life. fighting for his life, literally fighting for his life right now. And as long as he's fighting, we're fighting for him. We're fighting. We want justice. We want this person to be brought to justice. We checked with Markham police on the investigation. The chief told me on the phone they are still in the early stages, but confirmed the SUV was not reported stolen and it was not being pursued by police. Whoever you are, turn yourself in. If it just think about if you if the tables was turned and it was you, you will want someone to turn theirself in, turn yourself in. As for the second victim, she is expected to be OK. Witnesses told the family they saw two young women walking away from the scene of this crash. If you have any information that could help them tonight, please call police. Reporting live from Markham, V1 CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica, back to you. All right, V, thank you.